All right, today you'll be learning about the first man who owned uh, High Point, North Carolina, Gifford County Courthouse. Here's a few good videos of me, and I don't got a lot of views on uh, this channel right here, but I am working on uh, getting things done. So today we're going to be talking about the first man who owned Guilford County Courthouse in High Point, North Carolina. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. Okay, now let's keep this thing going. Now I'm going to go to WGHP, Sovereign Citizens. Now let me remind you that this is when the news put out that James Peggs, a sovereign citizen, spoke for what I done in 2012 with the Guilford County Courthouse, which is a white man, a Caucasian, a European, an Edomite, who I do not know. In your nature to reach for more. There is a group of people living amongst us who walk like us, talk like us, and act like us, but they say they are different. They don't believe in the United States, and they say they're independent from our country's government. So, are they smart? Are they crazy? Are they dangerous? Fox 8's Miss Carr has this report on sovereign citizens. You can decide for yourself. <laughs> Sovereigns, we're all born free. The idea of sovereignty is there's no jurisdiction, there's nothing above me. I've decided to check out um, from federal and state laws. Realism, true facts, never get in the, yeah, never get in the way of this movement. The word sovereign means possessing supreme or ultimate power. Those that declare themselves sovereign believe only in their own authority, and getting into the movement begins with a tangible declaration. I, James Ronald Peggs family, am a natural, freeborn sovereign without subjects. Jim Peggs is one of about 300,000 Americans the FBI classifies as sovereign citizens, though Peggs doesn't like that term because citizen means subject of. I am not in any jurisdiction, for I'm not a subject status. He doesn't pay taxes, he believes our paper money is worthless, the only laws he observes are those he agrees to follow, discarding those he says aren't what legitimate. I'm, no such laws, nor their enforcers, have any authority over me. He's put his reasons down on paper in this declaration, filed with the Guilford County Register of Deeds six years ago. It is a way of being very much in tune with our original documents, the Constitution, the Declaration, and declaring our rights back. In other words, I'm canceling all false contracts. Peggs considers himself a pacifist, and he or any other sovereign could be your neighbor. But the FBI considers him and those that share his beliefs to be anti-government extremists and potentially domestic terror threats. On a football field, there are sidelines, there are rules, there are referees, and that's the only thing that keeps it from being a melee, a ruckus. So if you have a contingent out there that believes that all of the rule book just doesn't apply to them, that's a problem whether it's in society or a football game. Either way, it creates chaos. 
Greensboro, Detective Corey Flowers and his partner Rob Finch are the experts on this movement. When the FBI and other departments need to understand these self-separatists, they call the Greensboro Police Department. I wouldn't call it a cult because there's no, with a cult you have one charismatic leader. The most common way police run into sovereigns is through traffic stops. Sovereigns don't like those. I believe that the government is misusing these officers uh, to raise money. So instead of being a protector of society, they are harassing society. The items on this table are proof that some people in this movement have exited society, and in some cases, reality. Mailed the original citation back to the trooper and writing refusal for calls on it, basically saying, I don't accept your contract. Uh, this is signed by Hillary Clinton, uh, so I think we can, you know, on its face, get rid of this. These are not vanity tags. I put them on the back and blatantly drive them to city streets. This stuff looks official. It's not. It's fraudulent, you know, not worth the paper it's printed on. They believe these items are more legitimate than what you and I get from the DMV or from the federal government. But, you know, it costs you $2 to make it, and these guys sell them for $150. And if public officials interfere with these governments of one, there are consequences. They want to go out and sell property. This could become a problem. In the Guilford County Register of Deeds office, you'll find dozens of property liens and lost. Okay, right there you see the name Demorius Full Ali that was filed in 2012. It's called a UCC one finance statement. I charged the disc attorney, all the judges, and every uh, person of interest in this case, 35 people to be exact. So it's filed by sovereigns against public figures. Guilf All right, before he got ready to say Guilford County judge and everything else, you seen the $800 million that was uh, supposed to be paid by gold, silver, or money order for every person of interest. Our county DA um, has a, a $800 million lien filed against them. Our clerk of court, $800 million lien. Uh, two local law firms, a billion dollars in liens. Bank of America, $200 billion. They got off easy. It's just been coined as paper terrorism. We're trying to stay within the law. We're trying to stay nonviolent. Some officers uh, who just literally aren't, aren't trained up and don't know better uh, often will, you know, they'll derelict their duty because they're afraid of getting sued and getting liens on their property. Laugh all you want at a multi-million dollar lien or lawsuit. Well, as long as Guilford County District Court Judge Tom Gerald did until he nearly missed the chance to refinance his house. Phone rings and it's uh, the closing attorney and he says, well, well, Judge, I got some good news and some bad news. The good news is, is we've got you locked into that low rate. Uh, the bad news is, is you've got a $70 million lien against you. Judge Gerald eventually got that figured out, and as of December 1st, it's a felony in North Carolina to file a false lien. Peg sees it as a loss in the battle to be truly free. That's a battle that involves all of us, whether or not we choose to fight it. I'm not representing any particular group. I don't have any axe to grind. I'm just, like thousands of people across the country, concerned about why things aren't the way they're supposed to be. In Greensboro, Mitch Carr, Fox 8 News not to turn anyone into a sovereign in his image. The point is